you guys, what's up? This is Millie here. Now, all my Dubai videos are coming to an end. There's only two left. One is today that I am reviewing the hotel I stayed at and next week when I will share some tips to, if you're traveling to Dubai. Um, and after that, all my Dubai videos will come to an end. In fact, all of my travel videos from December and January will come to an end and I hope you've enjoyed them. And without further ado, I am going to review the hotel I stayed at in Dubai, which is called Four Points by Sheraton. So let's go. So as I just mentioned, I stayed at the Four Points by Sheraton, um, and there's a total of four of these hotels all over Dubai. This is also a four star hotel, but in my opinion, it is very average. I think I would personally give it three, a three star rating. I will break down the review in three categories as I did with one of my earlier reviews. The good, the bad and the ugly. In hopes that that will you know, work out really well for you guys in case you are planning on looking for accommodation in Dubai. So let's start with the good. The four points where I stayed at is on Mankul Road which some of the staff mentioned is downtown Dubai. But I'm not 100% sure about whether that is downtown which is because a lot of the locals who are our family friends as well said that downtown is another area altogether so I'm really not 100% sure but in close vicinity there's a lot of food courts stores and there's a metro station literally 10 minutes away um, from the hotel Dubai in the winter is very pleasant both during the day and the evening it was probably only one of the days when it got really hot in the day Anywho, continuing on. The breakfast at this hotel is fairly cheap. The cost of the breakfast is 65 dirhams, which is roughly 20 New Zealand dollars. At the time, there was a deal going on which would further reduce the cost for breakfast down to 45 dirhams, which is about 17 New Zealand dollars if we booked it through the hotel. In our case, we had breakfast book for two people which was confirmed and we just had to pay for the third person. The breakfast buffet dishes change every day except for one or two dishes that remain the same every day. The staff at the travel desk are very helpful and they assisted us a lot with booking our desert safari trip and just giving us advice on what we can do and what we should do and things like that. Now for the bad list. Even though this hotel is in close vicinity to a metro station, this station falls on the green line. There are two lines in the Dubai metro, the red line and the green line. The red line is the longer line that includes most of the sightseeing stops such as Dubai Mall, the Mall of the Emirates and all the stops for Atlantis. So catching the metro from this station means that you have to switch trains on your way to wherever you're headed. This can be time consuming and very tiring. Going back to the review of my We were hotel. given a room on the seventh floor. However, there was literally no view from our room. There wasn't a welcome drink when we arrived at the hotel. I know that sounds really weird, but all four star hotels or five star hotels that I've been at, even three star hotels, they have like a welcome drink for guests that are waiting to check in. Um, and this hotel didn't have one of those and it just felt odd. The lobby and the building of our hotel was very ordinary. We've stayed at other hotels that have had a more lively lobby um, and they, they might have been a lower star rated hotel. So that, that does make a big difference because ultimately when you're entering a hotel and your holiday to that particular city has just begun, that can dull your mood or brighten your mood depending on how the lobby is set up. Last but not the least, now for the ugly list. When we arrived at the hotel, the concierge did not assist us with our luggage. On the day we were departing Dubai, we asked the hotel to haul us a taxi. The, ta the hotel staff said 
um, that it would just be easier if we took one of the hotel taxis and it would only cost us 40 dirhams to get there. We agreed. We were fine with it. Now, they gave us the first available taxi, which was fair enough. But what they failed to realize was that that first car was not big enough to fit all of our luggage and us in smoothly, so to speak. So after a lot of slamming and then finally shoving a suitcase next to me at the back in the back seat, uh, we finally set out towards the airport. Now, our driver out of the blue starts chewing a gum. Fine, we're happy with it. He wants to chew gum, he can chew gum. But he had a lot of road rage and he just kept swearing at other drivers and said a lot of vulgar things. Um, not that any of the other drivers heard him, but it was just really uncomfortable being in the same car as him. We get to the airport and my dad didn't have change, so he gives the driver a 50 dirham note and expecting some change back. This guy sees that there's a cop standing less than 10 meters ahead of us, takes the money, gets into his car, the boot of his car isn't even shut properly, and speeds off. I know 10 dirhams isn't a big amount of money, but Dubai tourism bodies, they, they take these sorts of things very seriously. And now we don't know if he was drinking and driving, which would explain him chewing gum earlier on, and then him freaking out at seeing a cop and just driving off. I don't know. Regardless, we went back, we went into the airport and we tried contacting the hotel staff to let them know what had happened. When we called the hotel and informed them that so and so happened, they reassured us that they would look into this matter and get back to us as soon as possible. It is now July and I was in Dubai in January. We still haven't heard from them. You know, that's fine. I mean, there was no harm done, but when they've taken up an initiative, they need to follow up on it. So as you might have guessed, I probably will not recommend you staying at this hotel if you are heading to Dubai. Dubai is such an enterprising city that every aspect of your trip has to be perfect or top notch for you to enjoy visiting the city. One little thing that goes wrong can ruin your entire trip. That's it for my review. I hope you find this review helpful. Uh, I got a message the other day on one of my other reviews and this person, you know, he made my day just saying that he absolutely loved my review and it's actually helping him decide where he, if he wants to stay at that hotel when he travels. But that's besides the point. So I really do hope this uh, hotel review has been helpful. If it has been, let me know Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I will catch you guys next time.